In this video, we're going to be looking at harmonious colours. Harmonious colours are colours that are next door on the colour wheel. So what we're going to create is harmonious blends. In this task, we're going to create harmonious blends. So you always start with your lightest colour. So our lightest colour here is yellow. We're going to add yellow first to the strip, then we're going to gradually add blue to it which is going to take it through yellow to yellow green to green to blue green and then finally to blue. I've put some yellow out on my palette and then just a small amount of blue because the blue is obviously more intense than the yellow. First thing you want to do is just add yellow only and a couple of centimetres of yellow before you start to do any mixing. Once you've laid down your yellow, then you want to start adding in your blue. You want to add the tiniest amount of blue because the blue will change the yellow very quickly. And the first colour you're going to start to see is a yellow green. Continue to add blue and what you will find is that your colour will start to become more green. By about the middle of your segment, this is where you really want your colour to be green. Overlap slightly with the colour that's there before, so the mix is better. I'm washing my brush in between but I'm also drying it um, and that helps just to keep the colour um, not too runny. Now you can see I'm actually starting at the other end and I'm applying the blue. Now it's quite hard to do it this way so I've turned it upside down so I'm working with my hand because I'm right handed. Now I want a blue green so I'm going to take the blue and green and mix them together. and work my way back to the green. And that's the first strip done. At this point, you really want to wash your, wash your tray and clean out your water so that you're ready for the next set of colors. Okay, the next harmonious blend I'm gonna create is blue through blue, purple, through to purple, through to red, purple, and then through to red. Blue and red are similar in intensity, but I would just say that the blue is just not quite as intense as the red. So that's why I'm starting with the blue. So I've just a tiny amount of red out and I've just put a very small amount of it into the blue because we want it to change very gradually and we want it to start to look like blue purple. Continue to add small amounts of red into the blue and it will start to turn more into purple.
Here I'm adding in a little bit more red so that you get a red purple. And here you can see I've turned my page upside down again. I'm starting at the other end and I'm adding in my red to blend it in with the red purple. And that's your second strip completed. Again, make sure to wash your tray or wash your plate and to get fresh water. The last strip is going to start with yellow and it's going to move through yellow, yellow orange, orange, red orange through to red. So again add a few centimetres of the yellow just to start with. So I've just a small amount of red on my palette to start with and I'm just putting a tiny amount of the red into the yellow because you'll notice that it changes it very very quickly and we want to just turn it into a yellow orange. Gradually add more red into it and you'll start to get an orange. So again you can see here that I've turned my sheet upside down and I'm just going through red orange now. Just need to be careful that um, the paint that's underneath your hand is not still wet. Um, if it is maybe just stop for 5-10 minutes and let it dry before you proceed. Lastly here now I'm just adding the red and I'm just blending this in to the red orange. And that is your three harmonious bands completed.